Hi there, happy succulent Sunday. So what I have here is a square wooden box and it's filled with soil. And I'll show you the plants that I have for this arrangement. I have an Echeveria light green. I have Ionium pinwheel. Three Echeveria violet queens. and three Kalankoe, and their nickname is escaping me right now. But um, I will write them down in the description part of the video with the full name. So I'm just gonna get started. And the plan here is to plant the Kalankoe in the back and then have the three Violet Queens. So one, two, three, and then the pinwheel and the light green. So let's see if that can happen. I'm gonna make my well here for my Kalankoi, and I'm gonna put the two tall ones in the back, and then my small one in the front, just like that. And I'm gonna put them together. Keep them in the bundle, and press that soil around it, and make sure that those roots are in there. I'm gonna shift some soil around so I can cover the back. All right, those are nicely tucked in there. Very good. Now for the Violet Queen. So I'm gonna put one, two, three. That'll be good. I'll put the bigger one in the back. I can do the other one here. Another one here. That gives enough space for the pinwheel. And this one has a nice long stem on it, so I'm going to grab my knitting needle and dig a deeper well for it. I'm going to try and gently tuck it in with my needle. And I want it like on the rim. I kind of want it to hang out like that. So let me figure that out. Okay. I'm going to add some soil to this box here. I'm running out. Okay, so now I can properly bury that pinwheel down. And I can even use another Violet Queen right there. I think that would be perfect. So let me go get one, one more. And I'm back y'all so another violet queen that'll go perfectly in here I'm gonna adjust it just a little yeah that worked out and now for the light green Now I can move the pinwheel a little further back there. Adjust this Violet Queen facing this way. I'm gonna add more soil. This little gap here. There's some moss here. There we go, that has enough soil now. 
to a hole there. So that's really nice. I like that, super simple. Just one, two, three, four varieties. So let me clean this up a bit. Okay, and I'm gonna try and fit some stones in there, but I really don't think it's necessary, but let me see. Let's see if I have some smaller ones. Let's see if I can pull it off. Hope you're enjoying your Sunday. It is a beautiful Sunday here in San Diego. It's a bit cloudy. I like it that way. Heat wave is coming though. We're gonna be in the 80s. Well, at least um, where I live. And 80s near the near the beach is that's pretty. That's pretty hot. <laughs> never gets that hot around here. I'm almost done here with the stones. I don't think I'll be able to fit any in there, so I'll just do these surrounding areas here. Just cover those holes. I'm gonna anchor this one just a little higher there. Didn't realize that those little leaves were buried in there. I think that's pretty good. I think that's enough. That looks so pretty. Love all the pastel colors here. That looks very nice. I'm just gonna turn it around for you guys, just so you can see the back of it. All the way around. That is so pretty. I hope this one doesn't get buried, but because aeoniums tend to take over and that's why I wanted to place it by the rim so you can kind of start heading that way you know all right well thanks for watching guys and until the next video bye bye